today we'll be making a peach and cream cheese pie. For the complete list of ingredients, please see the description down below. So first on your countertop, pour out 3 cups of all-purpose flour, half a cup of sugar, one teaspoon of baking powder that you mix all together with the flour and three quarters a cup of butter mine was a little bit hard coming right from the fridge so i had to cut it in tiny pieces so it's easier to work with i definitely recommend taking the butter out two three hours prior starting to bake so the butter is nice and smooth i even know some people don't put butter at all in the fridge and that's okay add two eggs mix a little bit so it doesn't spill everywhere with a knife Add 4 tablespoons of milk and 4 tablespoons of lemon juice. And dirty time! Knead all the ingredients together with your hands until you get a nice malleable dough. Once you're done, put it aside, preferably in the fridge. So for the cream cheese filling, since the quantity of the dough used is usually good for two complete pies, I'll be using two packs of cheese and each pack is 250 grams, so 500 grams in total. I started by cutting the big pieces in smaller chunks and added one egg, a couple of vanilla extract drops and most importantly one ounce of rum. Then with a handheld blender, I mix slowly all the liquid ingredients together. When you're starting to get a nice texture, add half a cup of icing sugar and blend again. When you're done mixing, put it in the fridge and take out the dough. I cut the dough in 4 pieces of the same size. Since we'll be making 2 pies and we'll be kneading a bottom and top part for each pie. Take one piece and flatten the dough with a pastry roll until it's about 5 mm thick. Carefully move the dough into the pie plate and cut out the excess dough with a knife. Slowly pour half of the cream cheese mix and spread out evenly. Then cover the cream cheese with pieces of peaches. Here I'm using some frozen ones that I have to frost. Personally, I prefer using frozen peaches over canned peaches as they're not uh, containing any added sugar. I find that the syrup used in the cans is overly sweet and totally unnecessary. You can use fresh peaches as well, but I would heat them a little bit on a pan before placing them on the pie to smoothen the texture and let them dry a little bit. Now for the top of your pie, all you need is your imagination to decorate. I decided to cut long strips in the dough and to make a little grid pattern with the strips.
Then I braided three strips together to make the contour of the pie. dough that I had flattened out, I cut out a couple of leaf shapes and three different sizes of flower shapes. I overlaid then the three flowers one on top of each other and make them stick together by pinching the center of the flower together with a modeling tool. Then I placed the leaves on the pie and added the flowers for a little bit of beauty. And done! Easy peasy! Bake for 30 to 40 minutes at 375 Fahrenheit or 190 Celsius and you can sprinkle the pies with a mix of flour, sugar and butter that you roughly combine together using the same amount of sugar as a flour and as a butter. Thanks a lot for watching, you guys can like, share and subscribe. For any tips and tricks, please don't be shy and comment down below and see you!